trade Lakers did not for Trail Blazers for Damian Lillard. Shout out to the solid balls. I love you all, guys. The Los Angeles Lakers are always very active participants in the NBA offseason and always looking for ways to put together a championship contending roster. They did so two years ago when they traded for Anthony Davis and they Reports about Lillard possibly being unsettled in Portland due to the roster not named LeBron James or Anthony Davis. That is essentially what the market for Lillard is right now. Damian Lillard is an NBA superstar and has cemented himself as one of the best players in the league over the last few years. Over the last two seasons alone, Lillard has averaged 29.4 points, 4.3 rebounds, 7.8 assists and has shot 39.6% from three-point land on over 10 attempts per game. Next to Stephen Curry, Lillard is probably the most lethal perimeter shooter in the league right now and if he does become available in trade talks, the Lakers are not the only team who are going to want him. All other 29 teams in the league, whether they need a point guard or not will pick up the phone and call Portland's GM Neil O'Shea because of how good Damian Lillard is. Outside of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the only other players under contract for next season in Los Angeles are Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell player option, Kentavious Caldwell Pope, Mark Gasol and Alfonso McKinney. Out of all of those guys, Kuzma and Harrell are really the only ones who hold some kind of value, which is why they would be the ones included in the best offer the Lakers can send to the Trail Blazers. If Los Angeles was to attempt to trade for Lillard, then a third and maybe even a fourth team would have to be involved that way Portland can get the talent they want, but a lot goes into this one-on-one -on -one trade package between the Lakers and Blazers. First off this trade would likely have to happen on draft night or soon after because the Lakers 2021 first round pick cannot be traded outright due to the Stepien rule. Teams cannot trade first round picks in consecutive years outright, which is why the Lakers would have to draft for Portland and then trade them this pick prospect. Another potential roadblock in this trade is the fact that Montrez Harrell has the option of becoming a free agent. He has a $9.7 million player option for the 2021-2022 season that he has to make a decision on by July 31st, so if Harrell was to opt out, he suddenly becomes a non-factor in trade talks for the Lakers. For these reasons is why more teams would have to be involved in this trade for the Lakers to possibly get a deal done for Damian Lillard, but with all of this said, let's take a look at if trading for and trading away Lillard makes sense for both the Lakers and Blazers respectively. Does this trade make sense for the Los Angeles Lakers? The Lakers are going to entertain offers for Kyle Kuzma in the offseason in search of landing another all-star caliber player, so there really is nothing not to like about this trade from Los Angeles' point of view. Kuzma and Harrell are not long-term solutions for the Lakers and right now, they are chasing championships, so draft picks do not hold much value to them either. Creating a trio of Lillard, James and Davis makes the Lakers practically unguardable and easily makes them the favorites to win the 2022 NBA Finals. There would be no way to guard them and they would look like an all-star team at times because they would have three of the best players in the entire league on the court together. Initially, the rest of their team may look very weak and vulnerable, but the Lakers would easily be able to fill out the rest of the roster with veteran players on minimum contracts that are looking to bring chase. As mentioned before though, trading Kuzma and Harrell, as well as several first-round draft picks, still may not be enough for Lillard. Portland is going to need a lot
something special without him. If anything, Kyle Kuzma is a solid young talent, but he is nothing more than a role player with the upside of being in the starting rotation for another team. The same goes for Montrez Harrell, who is not a franchise-altering big man. Portland does get a ton of draft assets from this trade, but other than the Lakers' first round pick this year, the rest of the draft picks do not come until 2025 at the earliest. The Portland Trail Blazers could look to trade Damian Lillard in the offseason, but this trade proposal and trading him to the Lakers in general makes no sense whatsoever. They can get so much more value for him somewhere else, which is why the Lakers' chances of getting Damian Lillard from Portland are very slim. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.